I mean, definitely we see an acceleration. And I think what's impressive is that the acceleration is across geographies, sectors, and across business lines. So not everything is back in the green for the moment. We still have you know, some, some base impact effect like from sector like aeronautics for the manufacturing sector overall. But most other sectors are really uh, in high recovery. The UK business is booming. Asia Pacific is very strong. We have return to organic growth in North America, in most of Europe. Only France is still a bit lagging, but should be back to strong organic growth from second quarter. So it's really across the board. It's supported by two things. One, of course, uh, uh, high speed economic recovery we see across the world, but also a strong acceleration in terms of technology investment that we see you know, continuing for the coming years. So we are quite optimistic about basically growth, both for this year, but also for the coming years. The strong positioning in digital is uh, one of the reasons that JP Morgan has cited for the decent performance today. As I look across the various different sectors that uh, you operate in, it's so wide from the aerospace to banking to retail, manufacturing, travel. Where are you seeing the strongest investment uh, in your business? Right now, you know, the, the, when we see in the first quarter, what was really strong, the public sector remains very strong. It was strong all of last year, and we see continuous basically investment and acceleration from you know, public administration. You know, we currently sign, recently signed a pretty large contract in the UK with Met Police to basically help them move all the infrastructure to cloud infrastructure. So public sector is very strong. We have seen a regain in the, all the consumer product and retail sector, very bo booming. Financial services is strong. Telco media and entertainment is strong. So overall, the only one that's still a little bit lagging, I say, in terms of really dynamic is, is the manufacturing sector and in certain cases, the energy sector. But we expect that to really rebound something in the, in the second quarter. So it's really across all industries. I mean, this is what, and across all geographies and all business lines, you know, from consulting to business process outsourcing and application, everything is really booming. And that's really driven by, by high technology spend coming from the digital transformation needs of most of the large corporations across every industry. Yeah, I'm fascinated uh, as to what you're saying about cloud at this point. Could you give us um, a sit rep, as it were, on the current pace of, of uh, contract signing around uh, provision of cloud services? Are you seeing any plateauing at the moment or are the trends still ver very aggressively to the upside? I think the trends are still aggressively to the upside. We work a lot with a lot of the hyperscalers, you know, from AWS to Microsoft Azure to Google, but also a number of others, the smaller one like OVH. And we see really a, a, a big rise in terms of demand. And I say it is really across the board. The move to cloud is only at its beginning, you know, because people think a lot about how to migrate from traditional data centers or, or traditional environment to the cloud. But beyond that, there's all the investment that happen once you're in a cloud environment in terms of basically taking advantage of that to be able to accelerate the digital transformation, invest in new application and new facilities, in digitization of customer relationship, of manufacturing processes, of new product development. So it's, it, the, the move will only accelerate actually the investments. Once you move to the cloud, the agility increase and suddenly it boosts additional investment that basically enables and accelerate the digital transformation.